Well, I've been living in Shanghai with Wu Ming for the last three weeks. I want to show you a bit of an insight into life here in China at the moment. And in particular, three things the Chinese government have done to control the crisis that I think would be pretty hard in Britain. It's not all sunshine and daffodils. I'll talk a bit about the darker side at the end of the video. The Chinese government collects an immense amount of data about their citizens and they're using it in novel ways to tackle the coronavirus. Every time Wu Ming and I want to leave the apartment complex, she's got to scan her face and those images as well as the images from all the CCTV cameras in China, of which there are about 200 million, are fed into a central database and then analysed using machine learning. So it means basically if you're in sight of a camera, there's about five on this crossroads, then it's likely that the Chinese government have analysed your face and know where you are. Another big source of data is the WeChat app. You might have heard of it. So that's WeChat, it's social media and your debit card all rolled into one super app, which is really convenient, but obviously also tracks. So the state know where you are, what you've bought and what you're saying to friends. That's just the status quo and the Chinese people generally know about this. The images you see are actually from the state media. But they're using this data to try the highest tech epidemic control ever attempted. So if you get ill in China and you go to a hospital, the hospital will register with the authorities and the authorities will pull your name down from this big database. And they have an algorithm that will be able to tell you all the different places that you've been in the last 14 days and all the people that you might have been in contact with. So the bread that you bought with the WeChat app the baker now will be notified that they have to self-quarantine for 14 days. And the people that you were next to on the flight, they now have to self-quarantine for the next 14 days. Every single citizen has a code, red, amber, or green. I guess you are yellow. <laughs> Why? Why? Because you come to Shanghai, not have 14 days. Uh. I'm a green. <laughs> but if I'm yellow, shouldn't you be yellow? <laughs> no, just you are yellow. Uh, maybe next week you you are green. Good. Some city uh, only green. You can drive car in on the road. If you the other colors, you can't drive on the road. Yes. This does seem to be working because you can identify and contain hotspots before they get out of control. 